Well, thank you for clicking on this video. Welcome to another edition of the Fast Five. It's Monday afternoon. Uh, Jesus. Uh, last week was really, really bad. The air quality here in New York was horrendous. Uh, even myself with my health issues, um, it was kind of hard to focus on situations. So you might see a light week in programming. Uh, Mad Man with a show. We're going to try to get some stuff up out, hopefully... Uh, a one or two more episodes in this week. Hopefully we'll be able to get that done uh, as we're preparing for the next week. <laughs> you know, we try to stay ahead, but, you know, things happen. And like I said, air quality was horrendous. If you happen to be on the East Coast, you understand what is going on. And of course, people on the West Coast know, know that for a fact all the time. But for that to happen here in New York, um, we haven't had anything like this since the 80s. You can even go back to the 60s uh, as far as bad air quality. Every, you know, We haven't had that kind of a situation in a long, long time. But you know, with all the crazy situations, the um, indictment on Donald Trump and the whole Biden situation and many other things in the news, uh, we're going to try to uplift you just a little bit because we have five, that's right, count them, five stories uh most of them are out of japan itself uh some good anime manga news on this some good news and some resolvements on some other issues that has been happening on there so we're at the starting line the green light is about to hit the flag is coming down so let's go Well, don't forget to share this video, hit the like, hit the notification bell, and hopefully today's the day I've earned your subscription. So let's start off with this with a little bit of anime news. Uh, first of all, Anapa Man, if you're familiar with that, we've discussed it before on this uh, programming on Man Man with the Show. Uh, it is uh, based on the children's books of Takaishi Yanis. But uh, what we're finding out is he's celebrating a milestone with the 50th anniversary of the book series and a 35th anniversary of the animes and film adaptations. To mark the occasions, a new theatrical anime was announced as part of the celebration uh, with, uh, in translation, Go Anapa Man, Ropril, and Warming Presence, set to open in Japan on June 30th. You can catch the trailer online there is a trailer on there if you're not familiar with anapa man uh basically you can catch it over on tubi tv it's the spanish dub version and japanese versions are available on there it is a fun kids series uh you know anime is always criticized saying oh look at all the sex and everything like that but you know check this out it's a great kids one uh, if you like the Pokemon series and stuff like that, uh, this one, you know, is for younger viewers, but it is still a fun family series. Now, switching gears uh, to Pokemon itself, uh, we've discussed prior about uh, thefts in Japan. Well, it looks like uh, in two separate incidences in the United States, uh, there has been a thefts have them been going on uh first someone broke into a trading car store called polka joker games in east florida avenue in hemet california uh we don't have a lot of information uh from the police but what we know on may 25th the thief took more than ten thousand dollars worth of pokemon cards uh the other theft took place in jonesboro arkansas but instead of stealing a store Someone stole a home collection uh, at a res home residence. Uh, the owner, who has been collecting Pokemon cards since the 90s, was away. Came back home, found that someone broke into his window. Uh, not only in, in addition to losing more than 30,000 Pokemon cards, the owner said he had a PlayStation 5 and Switch and TV stolen altogether. Uh, total cost of the cards was about $12,000. Police were called to the, to the crime. Uh, this happened on June 4th. And back to Japan on that same story, uh, the uh, Tokyo police have uh, 
caught a suspect in that original $15,000 Pokemon theft. Uh, Yuki Mukakami uh, has confessed to the crime and says this is not the only store uh, that he has stolen from and his intention to resell uh, the Pokemon cards that he had stolen from these collector stores. Tokyo police are now trying to connect the dots to see if Mukakami is basically the same person who also stole uh, approximately 48,000 worth of Pokemon cards from another store in the Kumamoto prefix as well and some other stores that have reported thefts in the past. Well, looks like we've lost another pirated site. Uh, the, in fact, the largest uh, 13DL, which boasted to be, have the highest traffic platform for any pirated publications, uh, was shut down. On May 3rd, 2023, Coda sent a takedown request to Cloudflare, the cloud service provider for 13DL, and CyberLocker's alleged copyright infringement. On additional May 10th, Coda filed a motion with the U.S. court seeking the disclosure of the sender's information, which was subsequently granted on May 12th resulting in the order of disclosure. Due to the court rulings, Cloudflare had to disclose the information, which led back to basically the 13DL and uh, basically was shut down due to this. Coda is listed as Content Overseas Distribution Organization, who has been working with the US and publishing companies as Katakawa, Konishiwa, Shuishua, Shogun, and Square Enix. And finally, in a previous video, we discussed Sunrise is in the middle of a new Macross project due to the Big West Studio No and Harmony Gold 2021 agreement to allow media distribution of the Macross TV series and films globally. The companies agreed to cooperate on the distribution of the future Macross and Robotech projects. Well, while Sunrise made their announcement, Anime Amigos Robert Woodhead announced at a maze event uh, that they will launch a Kickstarter campaign for its release of the Super Dimensional Fortress Macross to the movie. Uh, the company will re reveal more details at its panel at OtakaCon event, which will take place uh, July 28th to 30th. The six-episode anime debuted in 1992. The story sets up eight decades after the first space war, which follows a civilian news reporter who meets a mysterious singer from a previous unknown race. I mean, this is where we're getting finally some, because of that situation back in 2021, uh, which allowed an agreement on all companies to basically work on new product and restoring some of the old ones and getting some of the series that hasn't been shown in the West truly to get a Western release, Western dubs, uh, remasters. Uh, this was what was holding back was the fight between Big West, Studio New, and Harmony Gold. Uh, now that that is over, uh, we're probably going to be seeing a flood of Macross for the next several years. So we're going to probably be seeing a lot more stories than this. I'm glad we have this. I have a copy of the VHS one on this from years ago on there, uh, but uh, it's not, wasn't really that official on it. Um, and it was only in Japanese. It was in, in subtitle. There was no dub version of this. Now, all these series that haven't been released in the West, they need some love. And also some of the, the ones that were released here, like the Robotech series, the all three seasons, uh, both versions, the American version and the Japanese versions, do need some love. So comment below and let me know what you think of these five last stories that we've presented to you today. Uh, don't forget to share this video, hit that like, and uh, hit that notification bell. Hopefully today I've earned your subscription here on Cutecast TV. Uh, the Fast Five. So we've reached the finish line. We've got the checkered flag. Thanks for clicking on this video, and we'll, we'll see you next Monday on the next edition of the Fast Five. Have a good week. Breathe easier now, especially those of you in the East. And uh, for those of you who have been constantly watching on this, thank you once again. 
and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye now.